Uh, well, first of all, congratulations um, on the win. Um, how much of moving to Rufus Sport and you know the changes that you made and the new training partners and the strategy came into play for this particular fight for you? <clears throat> uh, I mean, it, uh, it, it was a big factor. It's, it's a combination of stuff. You see, the thing is about me, it's, uh, it's always about an emotional connection with, <clears throat> with certain things, you know what I mean? Uh, and obviously, uh, making the move was very hard for me because, because I'm, my character, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, samurai spirit, the martial arts spirit. It's always about loyalty, strength, and honor, and, and, and you know what I mean? So <clears throat> the change was hard because, because obviously nobody wants to have a breakup in a relationship, you know, it's like, it's, like a, it's like you're married for 20 years and now you guys grow apart, you know what I mean? So that being said, uh, being lived in Montreal, was raised in Canada, it was, a, it, it was a, it had a lot of struggle, a lot of, had, a, have, had a lot of doubts and, and a lot of uncertainty, you know what I mean? So I'm just very happy that I, I connected with, with Duke, you know, he, he has a lot of experience, a great bunch of guys, you know, uh, good, good spirit, all bunch of great fighters and I'm just happy to, <clears throat> feel that, uh, that 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 sense of, of connection with my trainer and with my team. You're, you're speaking, you spoke a little bit about martial arts. Can you explain what happened there at the very end of the fight? I, we kind of missed what happened, but you were... I mean, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I, anyone that knows me, I'm very emotional. You know, I, I'm an emotional guy, you know, in a sense of, I do things with my heart. I, you know, I, I did much, I've been doing martial arts in the age of six. I had some ups and downs. I, it was a, it was a tough couple of years for me. You know what I mean? I was uh, a lot of things people don't know. You know, people don't look at. <clears throat> people just see the fighting and they see the on the cameras, but they don't know the a fighter's life is a very lonely life. You know what I mean? It's you're in your head a lot. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a tough road and uh, just it was just emotional. A lot of emotions. That's it. Just a lot of emotions because Abel uh, was talking a lot of stuff. My opponent was talking a lot of stuff. I, whatever it is, what it is, now it's the past. Well, it looked like I, you went over. I just had to let go some steam. Gotcha. It looked like you went over at the end. You finally went over to shake his hand. You whispered something in his ear. What did, what did you say to him? I just said I respect him a lot and I trained very hard for him, you know? Well, speaking of him, what was the game plan coming in for him? What were you expecting to do? I, I just, I, uh, just listening to my trainer, listening to Duke, uh, the game plan was to let him, ga let him gas out, be, be composed, be stay, stay calm. Even when he hits me with big shots, he got me with some good shots and I had to kind of take the shots. And uh, you know what I mean, and just kind of uh, be patient and uh, and let him <clears throat> and, and like Duke said, let him fall into your sword, let him fall on the sword. Can, can you talk about anything maybe you've learned as a martial artist the last year um, training um, with Rufus? <clears throat> yeah, man, um, I learned a lot. This whole year was a big. As a man, as an individual, uh, I, I just just uh, I learned in a sense of how to become more independent, how to have more confidence in myself and. In the past, I kind of depended too much on, on external. I depended too much on external things to make me, to make me feel confident, you know. And being alone and having a lot of struggles this whole year, it really, it really defined me as a man. And 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 uh, it, I had a lot of questioning, you know, questioning wh which, which direction do I take, you know, in uh, in per in my personal life and in in my career life. Uh, I mean. It's a cliche, but did you did you really feel you learned a lot from your last loss, as maybe it just as a as a person? I mean, the, I mean the thing is about the thing about fighting is this. Okay, as a as a fighter, you always want to be undefeated. You know, you you, you want to be the best. You want to be the strongest. You want to have the best skills. You know, it's all mental, right? And and the thing is about all my life, a lot of things happened to me, and I, I just didn't know how to deal with them. You know, I, I didn't know how to deal with change. I didn't know how to deal with. You know, like nobody talks to you about. <clears throat> everybody teaches you how to throw a punch. Everybody teaches. Anybody can hold pads for you. Anybody can, you know, f say you're the best. And any, anybody can lie to you. But to, to be 100% honest to yourself and to have a, people around you who are, who are actually genuine in a sense where, they they care about you in an emotional level. You know, not just physical. You know, what I mean, it's more. It's 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 complicated. Only fighters understand this. It's not not anybody understands this. You know, what I mean? that that's why like. <clears throat> fighting for us is therapeutic you know what i mean it's it's something in your it's it's more than just the physical because we're, it's 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 uh, it really tests your skills it tests your it tests your your it tests your uh, tests you as a human being you know what i mean so it, it really makes you grow and uh, of course life is learning experience I, you, I learn every day i learn every day you know what i mean obviously <clears throat> it was a tough tough loss my last fight and uh, it is what it is you know what i mean i live you have to just get back up on the horse 
you know, there's no easy fights uh, in the UFC, uh, but is the one thing that you, I think has been missing on your record is this consistency in, in putting a streak together. And do you think now you're in a place at Rufus Sport that you can put a, a nice streak together? Honestly, man, uh, if, I, if I could predict the future, I, I wish I could predict the future. I can't. You know, the only thing I can do is live day by day, be the best I can be. I can be every day. You know what I mean? Just uh, focus on <coughs> personal growth. Uh, I'm in my 30s now. I, I, I don't think the same when I was my 20s. You know, I don't think the same when I was my teenage years. M my goal is to try to find inner peace in a sense where I can try to separate personal and my fighting career because uh, because it, it, may, it uh, kind of consumed me. You know, what I mean, I didn't know who fighting and training can really uh, can really play with your mind. You know what I mean? What, how active do you hope to be in 2018? How many fights are you hoping to have? I mean, God willing, uh, me, I, I, I want to be three fights a year is good, you know. Three fights a year is good to try to get back to the title. I, I, I envision myself, I don't have, an, I had a title contention when I fought Donald Sorny, when I fought two weeks notice, but hopefully this time around I have a better training camp, I have a better preparation, and uh, hopefully by the age of 35 or something, maybe we'll see what happens, because I want to be a champion. I'm not, I'm not in this sport to, to just come for a paycheck. It's not about the money. Because the money is a bonus, you know. But for me, I, I want to be a, I want, my, I want my legacy. I fight for my legacy. Is there anyone that makes sense for you next? <clears throat> Honestly, they're all top guys. I want to, you know. I mean, I, I truly believe that I fought tough, tough, comp tough opponents, <coughs> and I, I want to fight a top 15 guy for sure. You know, I, I find that, I find that my career has kind of been awkward in a sense where they will give me a guy who's been around the game for a long time, and then they give me a newcomer, and then they give me. I just feel like it's kind of confusing for me in a sense where it plays mind games because it's like you're fighting a guy like Donald Cerrone and then they give you a guy who just came into the UFC and then they make give you another guy who's been in the UFC and then, so it kind of confused me, you know what I mean? I believe I should fight guys who've been like, you know what I mean, in, in my, uh, in the UFC for, uh, on, in the top, you know what I mean? And it's, what I mean by the top, I don't mean like the, like top, top 10, top 15, just guys who are more experienced, guys who've been around the game for longer, you know? Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you